Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and this is a tutorial on the topic uh, reusable contents in the AutoCAD. So this is AutoCAD 2012 and uh, we can see uh, arrangement over here. So we're going to create that arrangement right now and I'm going to show you the different techniques uh, which are involved. So basically this tutorial will cover the topic blocks and what is the use of blocks and then uh, how to redefine the blocks. So blocks are basically reusable contents. So something which can be used again and again when you're working with AutoCAD. All right. So I'll just uh, delete this right now. And I'll start off doing a table here. So previously, as you saw, this is uh, actually arrangement of a table and uh, the different plates here and uh, the serving plate and the different uh, chairs so the chairs are actually the blocks which are involved here uh, so actually the use of blocks is that uh, when you press the I enter command or else you if you go to insert you can directly the chair is available over here so if you click on OK you can insert infinite number of chairs in this way so you don't have to create uh, chairs all the time so the particular chair will be saved so I'm going to show you how you can save such a chair inside AutoCAD when you're working on a particular file so now I'll just uh, remove it or else I'll just keep it aside so here I'm going to create a similar table I'll just off the O-snap so it just uh, I just want to show you the technique so you can just see I'm gonna I'm not gonna use any kind of dimensions <laughs> alright <coughs> so for just showing the uh, serving plate I'll just uh, you know create a plate here and then I'll go for creating different plates All right hello on the old snap in the O snap I need to select the center of the O snap okay something like this now I'll just uh, select this I'll go for rectangular array and I'll just uh, create an array here so we got the different plates now let's uh, let's rearrange it a little bit okay that's it <coughs> now we need to create the different uh, uh, chairs alright so for creating the chair I'll just uh, you know I just want to denote the chair somehow so I'll just create two rectangles and I'll call it a chair so the main intention of uh, this is that I want to show you how you can insert a particular component into the block so uh, somewhere inside the memory of uh, AutoCAD when you're working on the particular file so as you can see if I press I enter you can see this chair option because I've created I've uh, added this particular chair inside that memory so alright now let's get into the business now I'll uh, press the block be a low CK block I'll press enter and I'll specify my new chair new chair remember the name which you have given for a particular component uh, uh, select the pick point and then select objects now I'll just press enter I'll click OK now you can see when I select this it is selected as a whole component and the pick point which I've created is coming right here so what the use is that actually if I press I enter or if I go to insert over here I have the new chair as well as a chair so I'll just go for new chair and I can insert infinite number of chairs I, if I want the old chair I can go over here and I'll get the old chair so that's about uh, the insertion and creation of the block so in my next tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can arrange them over here and if I make change in one of them how that change is gonna reflect on all the other blocks so that is going to be explained in my next tutorial so keep watching and I hope you like this and uh, you like this video and I hope uh, this video is going to be helpful for you 
Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to comment on my video and please feel free to let me know what doubts or clarifications you have and you can write me to kitia.pro.user catia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.